Hey everyone, I'm Damian Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and I'm with our gang from Titans on HBO Max, coming back for a massive new season. Very excited. Greg, when you got to go deeper into the mythology of the Titans, and they said, okay, well, now you've done Gotham City, where would you like to go to next? Is that how this works out? Well, they didn't say that as much as we said, where do we want to go next? And we were in an RV, and we were heading to San Francisco, and we had to go someplace. It was, it was Vegas. Or Metropolis. Oh. And so Vegas will be next season. Had we had sorry, known, guys, right? Had, had so we had sorry. known. <laughs> so you go to Metropolis, um, which is very cool because the season opens with Josh's Connor meeting one of his two dads. Um, what can you tell us about this? One of his two dads, and it may not be the one that you think. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very yeah. clickbait way to ask that question. Exactly. <laughs> um, what can I tell you? Um, not much. I can tell you that uh, Lex Luthor makes an appearance mm -hmm. um he reaches out um and the subject of connor meeting him in person for the first time is one that's approached with great trepidation by the titans but also it's the burning curiosity inside connor that's compelling him to go and meet this guy and talk to this guy and ask him all the questions that he has is really the the driving force for superboy for the first part of the season yeah. All right, and now Brenton, Dick has fully turned into hero. He's team leader. He's a good guy. He's kind of put back, you know, his trauma of the the bat past behind him. Um, how is it getting to play a guy who's a little bit lighter in the psyche right now? That's right. He's the he's a manager of people, yeah. uh, and the management role is not so easy. <laughs> um, well, you know, on the, on, to piggyback on what Josh just said, we open the season with. Um, you know, a big conflict, which is, you know, Superboy wanting to meet his parents. And, uh, you know, one parent is, it's fantastic, that'd be great. But the other parent is a supervillain we all know, and, and one that could have great influence on Superboy in the, in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, um, that's, you know, Dick Grayson's biggest concern at the, at the top of the season, because we've, like you said, we've come from Gotham, we've just defeated Crane, we're feeling good, we're working really well as a team. And our goal is to head back to San Francisco and, you know, halfway back there, Connor Kent basically says, you know, I want to meet my dad. Um, when the dad that we all want to meet wasn't available, <laughs> we take a detour to go meet the other dad. And, um, and you know, there's two thoughts. There's, you know, this is a, a supervillain that Bruce Wayne was afraid of. Mm. Uh, someone mm. who should be treated with the utmost caution. But at the same time, Everyone deserves to know their parents. And unfortunately, Dick Grayson lost his parents at a young age. And he sees this as a, as a learning moment for Connor and tries to support him and ultimately decides to go and see Lex. And now, Ryan, Gar has, over the course of the series, he has been the nicest guy on this team. Mm. Like, he's just, he's a good guy. Um, but it looks like in the new season, mm. he is maybe headed into a space where things aren't so great for him. An understatement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it serves his higher self at the end of the day. And it's, it's, a, it's a really fun storyline where Gar gets to contribute in a metaphysical sense. Uh, it, there's, yeah, it, that starts to get into a weird, weird area without giving away any plot and uh, spoilers. His his internal growth will will help resolve some uh, major conflicts throughout this season. Oh, okay, that's exciting um, for you guys. Well, first, do you guys like? Is everyone angry? Like you have the everyone is angry. Comfortable, We're angry. Like the most comfortable super suit. It's just a t-shirt and jeans. He's walking around in like a refrigerator. <laughs> Ostensibly, yes. The, it's a double-edged sword because the super suits are amazing. Yeah. Uh, LJ Super Suits creates these insanely intricate pieces of art that are, are mm. worn by these guys. And sometimes I, I kind of look at them on set and I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm jealous. Right. But um, right. then I, I do see the, the sweat and I see, <laughs> you know, after a few takes, I see Brenton lying on the ground. Um, kind of, you know, exhausted, and I think, you know what, I'm actually okay with my uh, <laughs> with my t-shirt situation. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I know that Gar gets kind of like a costume upgrade this season, correct? Major costume yeah. upgrade, yeah. Uh, LJ Porter Hart into this. Uh, the, the the team at 
uh, her studio did a phenomenal job. Kind of all the tricks they learned from some of the first super suits they've ever done, they really meticulously went in on this suit. Super suits in general are, uh, can be a little cumbersome and a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, I had no complaints from me though, because it, 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 yeah, it's a piece of art. Uh, you, you put it really eloquently. And now every season, at least, every, you know, has w at least one great like moment where you're just like, oh my God, that like the shot of you going through the wall, you know, like that black and white, like that, that slow motion shot of like, every season has something. I want to hear from Greg, like this season, what's that episode that everyone needs to be like ready for? I would definitely check out episode one. Just, and I know that sounds like a tease and it does feel clickbaity, but I will, like Josh said, I will say that we do a lot in that show visually. Mm -hmm. I think we do a lot with effects. We do a lot with fights and we do a, whole hell of a lot with character that launches us down a really exciting path. All right, and I want to ask all about like other characters we might meet, but I'm going to save that for later on in the season because I don't want to spoil anything, and I want to save this so I can talk to you guys later on. So everyone, check out Titans on HBO Max. The, all the seasons are streaming already, so you can catch up. It's one of the coolest shows on TV, and thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.